fellow citizens of the United States of Biafra and compatriots, I feel a very grave pain in my heart as I speak today because the greatest injustice that we can do to ourselves is to descend to the gutter like our enemies and start to swim in the gutter with them. The sad events of the last four days is negatively impacting on us as a people because that is not what we have. Our rule of engagement in warfare does not allow us to kill old women, old men, children, and women and non-combatants. As an Ejor man who had been in the front, who had fought, who had engaged the invaders in several pitch battles. I know that once we leave our values and try to imitate them and accept their values and be guided by their own norms, then we have lost it. then we have lost it. There was no need. There was no need whatsoever. It does not make us greater. It does not make us braver. It does not satisfy anything for us to harm those who are not harmed. It is cowardice for you to shoot a man behind his back. That is the all mark of the Nigerian military that they descend on hapless people, people who are not harmed. They rape women. They slice the throat of unharmed people with their hand tied behind their back. That is not us. That is not the German. That is not the Biafran. No. The German, the Biafran, is not afraid of war. And the Bobra, Bobra, Omwe, Omwe, Omwe. And the Bobra, Bobra, Omwe. Omwe, Digi Balafawa, Omwe. And the Sobio Boso, Omwe. And the Kribio Boso, Omwe. Ani ani torbu boso muwe wa mu di bala fa wa mu we are not afraid of war but we must tear the template for the war we want to fight we must not allow the enemy to set the terms of the war for us we must not adapt the behavioral attitude of the enemy and start to behave like the enemy. That is not us. Who are the people you are killing? The Wilbairo Pucha? The Meiruas? The Meidoya? Who are they? I'd always said that when the calm comes to be calm, the happen will surely happen. It will happen. We are not afraid. We know that this day will come. We know that this day will surely come. We have seen them on the, on the social media. They are posting where unharmed people are told to swim in gutters, are told to swim in gutters, are stripped naked, are being flogged. I made inquiries. Yesterday, I did not sleep. I made calls upon calls upon calls across Biafra. And somebody told me that some of some Biafrans were going to the house of Inam Dekanu, the leader of IPOB, 
from Port Harcourt and at Isiala Ingwa's junction, a female soldier asked one of them to remove his Biafran band, one of the people going to Umoya, and he refused and she shot him. And the others who saw it and returned on their way, crisis started. The news spread because this is what they want to do. They want us to descend to their level. They want us to get into the gutter with them, to roll in the feces with them. We are not going to do that. Please and please. That is not bravery. We must not do that. Let them go back to their homes. Don't touch them. Assist them. Let them go back. If they come back with their guns to fight us, then we'll fight them like men. Away. That is what the rule of engagement is. It might look very difficult, but that's what the rule of engagement is. He who comes to equity must come with a clean hand. You can't come to equity with a dirty hand. You can't come to equity stained with the blood of the innocent. Equity will not aid you when you come to her with the blood of the innocent. Those of us that are religious, God Almighty will not aid us or forgive us when we come with the blood of the innocent in our hand. We are not doing it because some of our people foolishly remained in their land. That is their business. Their remaining in their land will not prevent us from fighting for our freedom. We have not declared war on anybody. We have said it over and over, but we are not afraid of war. If the war comes, we will stand up. There's no doubt about it. But you are not a man when you take a knife to kill a girl, a small girl, selling orange because she's from there. No. That is not our rule of engagement in war. That is against all that we stand for. As an Ijoma, you will understand me when I say this. Because the spiritual essence that protects the Ijoma nation and all our combatants will not protect you when you do that. When you take the life of a non-combatant. When you poison a pond, a fish pond, or a well, the spiritual essence that the job people believe that guide them will not, which is also Biafra because I'm an Ijo man and as a Biafran I want to fight, I must be guided by this law not to poison the pond where people drink from, the well where people drink from, not to kill pregnant women, not to kill babies, not to kill girls. Not to kill old men and women, and not to kill non-combatants. It might sound very difficult. I'm continuing to repeat it, because it's a burden in my heart. I survived up to today. Dead had always been my companion. But I survived up to today, because I keep strictly to the laws of engagement, the rules of engagement of our wars. Please. Let them not do all this irreparable harm that will descend to their level and become them. No, not because of what the world will say, not because of what anybody will say, no, but because of our conscience, because of our rules that will kill a man who did not have the opportunity to defend themselves. That is not bravery. That is cowardice. And that is un like
I call you because I will stand with you. Those of you who know me as an Ijoma man, as IYC president, you know me. And you know what I stand for. But I've never stood for killing an unarmed man, an unarmed woman, not to talk of babies and pregnant women. If they want to leave our land, we should escort them to their departs, put them in their vehicles, give them their properties, if they have any, let them leave our land. Let us not kill them, not because they have been repressed. Whether in 1966, in 1967, all the time they've been killing our people, we did not kill them before they kill us. So let nobody say that they want to do reprisal action. We did not have them before they placed a death sentence on us by October 1st. We did not have them. We did not commit any crime. Let nobody commit any crime against ourselves. We hold life very dear. They don't have anything to do with life. They don't hold life, hold life very dear because they are born and sent to the streets to beg, to fend for themselves on the street. They live a brutish life, brutish life, life of survival of the fittest. Say they don't give a damn if they kill people, if they slice open the belly of a pregnant woman, if they burn people in their houses, they don't give a damn, but we do. That is not part of us. It should never be part of us. Kalabarena amakribo onbiye srasra onbiye srasra onbiye krilala kalabana matenso dokobia amakrima dokobia. Let us not become them. They were both in a digimate in Jeraima. Omubo mbebe we na somu kuno malaba. Omubo mbebe we na somu kuno malaba. It is so sad. I've not been happy. Because this is not us. It's definitely not it. It can't be us. We can't be like that. We can't be them. We can't be them. Anybody who is celebrating is not amongst us. Don't condescend to their level. Don't reduce us to their level. That will be the greatest crime. The greatest crime. The ingratest crime we we'll commit against ourselves. And the greatest injury they will inflict on us.